Welcome back, everybody, to Megalithomania, South Africa. Our next speaker is Wayne Herschel, who you saw yesterday do his research about his hidden records at BC. Today, we're going to go AD, and we're going to check out his some breakthrough discoveries that he's been saving up for today. So I'm really looking forward to this myself. So please give a warm welcome to Wayne Herschel. Thanks. Yesterday, I showed the star maps of uh, all ancient civilizations that seem to have a common pattern, a pattern that showed the stars all over the, uh, the globe being important, a certain part of the sky that was important. Now, if this was real, my question is, did the secret follow forward as being the secret of the human origin genome? Okay. The most important stars are Orion and the Pleiades in, in most of the ancient civilizations. They seem to have the obsession in mainly the Pleiades and the earliest monuments, but there were some that chose Orion as a cosmic signpost to find that star that is marked with a ring around it. Now, the Pleiades is the uh, constellation you see in the bottom left with uh, the number seven near it, seven stars. And Orion is the one with the digit three near it, which uh, is uh, the three belt stars of Orion follow the alignment to find this important star. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how that number 3571 is a very ancient sacred number. We have another star that comes into contention here. We were looking at the one on the top right as being the most important, followed by the one on the bottom. But there's a third one in the area of the Pleiades, and it has a movement path that traces from the top of it to underneath it. So that star is uh, listed as TYC 17991061. Are we having troubles with the mic? Should we go back to this one? Yeah, well, I might as well just hold it then. Should I go to the other one? Sorry about that. Right. Testing. Okay. I'll put my mouth right over it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Yeah, okay, I'll keep that distance. Right, so we're back again. Looking at the Pleiades and uh, the three stars now being a triangulation effect. Those three stars seem to be embedded more in the last 2,000 years of uh, ancient uh, traditions and what I believe secret society had some sort of clue about. Yesterday I showed that uh, Tikal, that grouping of yellow pyramids. Uh, Hugh mentioned as well, some pyramids were built later and didn't seem to follow a divine plan. The one in, in purple at the top is uh, one of those that didn't follow the plan. But the yellow ones with the little shape in the uh, middle of the, the grouping is the, the earliest. And it makes this triangulation effect between monuments. This is that, pan, that pattern that I was talking about. And there's an anomaly in the left-hand side of it, just underneath the purple pyramid with a tiny black dot. That is one that seems to mark this third sun that comes into contention. Mars has an extra anomaly for that third sun. You'll see it in the top left-hand corner, just a shadow peeping out. For my book, I kept just to two sun-like stars. The moment I brought the third one in, it became very confusing for the reader. So for simplicity, the Mars face and the DNM pyramid were the uh, only two that I included in the book, and I left out the third one. But you can see in the top left-hand corner, there is an anomaly that fits. Stonehenge has that same layout pattern where the Winterbourne Stoke Barrow seemed to uh, duplicate the Pleiades. Stonehenge itself is the X that marks the spot. And there's a group at the bottom called the uh, Lake District area where those trees are at the bottom of the picture that seem to be marking that third star, just like that. And Stonehenge, if you look closely in the bottom, the top left of that corner, second ring, there is an anomaly, a long barrow, that fits in with the, the third sun. Babylon, supposed to be the cradle of civilization. The lost temples of Babylon actually fit between this triangulation of three ziggurats. Saddam Hussein rebuilt those three ziggurats as being his most important monuments, and he actually put big uh, weapons on top of them as well. So those three make an amazing equilateral triangle, but what's left of Babylon is very, very hard to make out. There's very little to see. 
So uh, we won't be able to measure play these uh, correlations there. So we're looking at three stars in a, in a triangle position. The Pleiades have shown being in the upright position as a leg of the bull. To the ancient Egyptians, they interpreted this uh, grouping of seven stars that have got this beautiful blue uh, radiance uh, as being the leg of the bull of Taurus. Right, this is where it starts. Secret society, uh, Freemason, uh, Freemasonry as a whole, um, started off with some kind of legend about Hiram Abiff, a biblical character the founding of Israel, tied in with Jacob's Ladder. That ladder you see coming down from one of those stars is Jacob's Ladder. And Jacob was told to build monuments on the ground to mirror the heavens. The three in the heavens make a triangle for, uh, pointing downwards. The sacred feminine that uh, I think uh, uh, Robert Langdon in the uh, fictitious Da Vinci Code, fictitious, said that was the sacred feminine. And on the ground there's the... Uh, the monuments of the masculine. Well, at the bottom of this ladder, there is a Ra symbol. The Ra symbol is a dot and a circle called the circumpunct. Why would that symbol be on the ground zero marking position with that star? If you look carefully, just underneath that blazing star, they call it, there's a hand and a, and a grail, a symbolic symbol for the Christ story being tied in with the star. And I'd like to suggest that's a very simple indication this is the Bethlehem star and its secret. There's also a key on that ladder. What does the key mean? Very likely to be the key of King Solomon. King Solomon had a secret and he carried a key to unlocking a truth. That is that complete layout plan of that first degree tracing board, which I think was the secret that Hiram above uh, was murdered for. Three pillars on the ground matching three anomalies in the sky. I believe the checkered board effect on the ground is a very a clever way of, of uh, doing a chronology of three different stars when they were founded uh, on, on this earth. Three different pillars have three different carvings on them and uh, you can date them perhaps the one with the least amount of carving on was the most uh, ancient which is the one closest to us in the picture going back to the the eastern horizon which is uh, the far one the pillar that's closest to the star that's got the the biggest size is the blazing star. That one has a lot of ornate carving on it, and the Ra symbol is marked on that one, being uh, something tied in with the beginnings of ancient civilization. People um, in early astronomy built something called a sextant to measure positions of stars. Now, before that, there was a very simple way of measuring stars for the ancients. They believed that when the stars rose on the eastern horizon, they were being reborn. This was the time to measure them on the horizon. Orion rises in the in any way, in fact, North Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere with Orion pointing vertical like that. And that's a very neat way, if you're going to measure from Orion's belt to that little star that's got the red hue around it, um, you'd want to measure how far to measure to that star. In astronomy, it's actually 33 degrees of arc. Now, is that a coincidence? 33 degrees, a ladder going upwards. That's very close to the Jacob's Ladder of perhaps 33 levels reaching up to the knowledge of that star. And you would be able to use two small little goodies here, the, uh, uh, the right angle triangle and the, uh, the dividers, to measure the star. Just two little items on a special day. And uh, you can actually measure 33 degrees in the sky with your eye viewing down the, the calipers. If you can imagine two big calipers holding outwards one level with the horizon, and you need to measure vertically. So the, um, that right angle triangle will just help you measure vertically. So to find the star that's 33 degrees away, it would be um, that way to do it. 3571, three belt stars of Orion through the five of Taurus. There are five in a V shape like the Roman V to the Pleiades generally because you can't see the small little star marked one here. It's too tiny to see. You need binoculars or a telescope. So 3571, Google that number and the word Freemason. See for yourself from a Masonic apron. I think it generalizes the two pillars of uh, the Solomon Temple, Joachim and Boaz. Have a look at those stairs. They're broken into three portions. There are first three steps, then there are five, then followed by seven to get to the secret of that all-seeing eye at the top. And that's what we had there, the three, five, seven combination to get to the one, which is that all-seeing eye at the top. The most sacred ancient...